Major news on the Russia-Ukraine war tonight as Ukraine fires several American-supplied longer-range missiles into Russia for the very first time. All right, this prompting Russia to lower its threshold for using nuclear weapons. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley here with what it all means, Sharon. Yeah, well, President Putin's rhetoric is certainly sending shockwaves through the world, raising fears about the threat of a nuclear war. Putin's rhetoric not new, though, since he sent troops into Ukraine. He and other Russian voices have frequently threatened the West with Russia's nuclear arsenal to deter the U.S. from supporting Ukraine. Tensions rising in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine struck military targets inside Russia for the first time using American-made long-range missiles. Just two days ago, President Biden lifted restrictions on Ukraine's use of those missiles. Of course it is a signal that they want to escalate and it is impossible to use these high-tech missiles without the Americans. Putin has said this many times. The pre-dawn attack hit a military facility where 11,000 North Korean troops are deployed in a counteroffensive against Ukrainian forces inside Russia. U.S. officials tell Fox it was Putin's decision to expand the war by bringing in North Korea that led President Biden to authorize the use of long-range strikes. Our record is one of holding Putin accountable and one of holding Russia accountable. And you just have to look at the results on the battlefield. Following the missile strike, Putin lowered the Kremlin's threshold for using nuclear weapons in response to a conventional attack. President Biden is in Brazil at the G20, but a Pentagon spoke Spokesperson responding to Russia's latest threat. We aren't surprised by Russia's update to its nuclear doctrine. It's something that they've been signaling that they intend to update um, over the last several weeks. It's the same irresponsible rhetoric that we've seen before. So it's something that we're going to continue to monitor, but we don't have any indications that Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon within Ukraine. And tonight, some NATO allies near Russia, including Sweden and Finland, are warning their residents to prepare for the possibility of war. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill, though, don't believe Putin will even consider using nuclear weapons. Use of nuclear weapons would be abhorrent. Not even Putin has the bad judgment to cross that line. Well, also happening today, U.S. State Department spokesperson um, saying that since the war began, Russia has sought to, quote, coerce and intimidate both Ukraine and other countries around the world through irresponsible nuclear rhetoric and behavior. So a lot of eyes mm-hmm. watching what's going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. big news today. All right, yeah. Sharon, thank you. President Putin has uh, amended uh, Russia's nuclear doctrine today to imply that if American weapons are used against Russian territory, which they now have been, that means that he is potentially in a nuclear confrontation with the United States. So what does that all mean? Well, the Russians have got a lot of nuclear weapons, 5,500 nuclear warheads, and that's about, it's more than the Americans have got, but they've got several thousand as well. What's more important is what are they deployed on? Uh, the Russians have got them deployed, about 1,700 of them. Uh, and again, that's about, uh, only about 200 more than the United States. And they have them on a triad of land-based ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, ballistic missile firing submarines, and aircraft that can launch cruise missiles or whatever with nuclear warheads. So they've got about 1,700 deployed. And again, the United States is only uh, about 150 behind that. Both sides have so many nuclear weapons, they could destroy each other several times over. The land-based ICBMs are the most interesting and the most potent. And if we look at where they are, and we're looking at Russia here, but remember, this is always a mirror image. The Americans have got everything more or less the same as Russia. Their ICBM bases are in Russia, and those ICBMs would fly, if necessary, to America. Now, they won't go over the United Kingdom, because if this was a globe, they would go over the North Pole, as indeed American weapons from North bases in Northern America would go over Canada, over the North Pole, uh, into Russia. It takes about 20 minutes, and that's the time uh, that one side would have to react to the other. And if we think about the the ranges of these things, if we assume Moscow is a starting point, which it isn't because these bases are elsewhere, but if you just think of it, the the range is about 6,000 miles. It can reach, uh, the big, long-range weapons can reach everywhere. And if we're talking about ballistic missile submarines, it could be in the Norwegian Sea, it could be in the Barents Sea, it might even be in the Atlantic. So potentially, Russia and America can reach each other, the whole continent, anywhere at any time, more or less, uh, in the world. That's what they've got. Now, the point about all of this 
is that this is the way it was in the mid-1970s, and it hasn't changed. Technically, it hasn't changed for 50 years. They've modernised their forces, but they're still basically structured in this way. What has changed is that the arms control regime that built up in the 1960s was quite powerful. That regime has been whittled away and is almost now non-existent. And so the arms control agreements that used to build predictability into all of this have now more or less disappeared. And that's what makes President Putin's statements more reckless these days than they were, say, a year ago. Shalom. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in our truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The house of David starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, so this, uh, this is going to be a brief, uh, quick update. All right, uh, you know, of course, uh, America authorized Ukraine to use uh, American-made long-range missiles inside Russia, all right, to attack Russia. And, uh, you know, Ukraine didn't waste any time in doing so, all right? They've already uh, attacked Russia with U.S.-made long-range uh, missiles, all right? And upon that uh, attack, you know, Putin uh, basically uh, issued a, 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 a new, another uh, a, a nuclear threat, man. You know, he lowered the threshold, you know, uh, as far as their nuclear uh, doctrine. And as you saw in the clip, you know, America, they don't, they, they're basically, they're pretty much not taking it serious. All right. Which, uh, you know, of course, uh, Russia is going to retaliate. But I don't think they're going to retaliate in a um, nuclear fashion, in a nuclear capacity, as far as Ukraine goes. You know, I think Putin wants to keep that uh, infrastructure over there intact because he want to get he want to get all that territory back. All right, and he he don't want, he don't just want to you know blow it to smithereens. All right, but they are we know because the scriptures tell us so that they are going to uh, shoot nuclear missiles over here on America, Babylon the Great, man. That's the end game of America, man. All right. You know, that's why the Lord constantly has America's doing things to uh to provoke uh Russia, man. You know. All right, just constantly uh the Lord putting the spirit on America to constantly uh poke the bell because prophecy has to be fulfilled. All right. And this is uh how the Lord is turning Russia back, man, putting them hooks in their jaws. Let's start with that one, um, Ezekiel 38. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. I'll go straight to the point, verse 4, Ezekiel 38 and 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Yes, uh, so the point is, uh, you know, the uh, Lord is going to turn, turn Russia back. You know, God in the land of Magog, man. He's going to put them hooks in their jaws. And that's why he's uh, making America do what they do to Russia, man. You know, because the Lord is turning Russia back, man. You know. So, yeah, man, this thing is going to, uh, you know, them nukes going to fly, man. Before it's all said and done. All right. That's, and that's why the Lord got all these nations uh, basically building up their nuclear uh, arsenal. Uh, Russia is uh, aiding all these uh, nations with weaponry. All right. And that's the Lord. Uh, you know, uh, opening his armory. Let's get that one. What's that? Isaiah. Do it like this. Might be Jeremiah. Yep. Jeremiah 50. I get in a blue letter. See, the Lord got all these nations with nukes, man. Because these 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 nuclear missiles are the weapons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's in indignation. Why is Jeremiah not working? 
There we go. Jeremiah 50 and 25. The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Yeah, America. All right. So the Lord has opened up his armory, man, as you saw in the clip. You know, Russia has uh, 5,500 war nuclear warheads, man. But, hey, it's going to be way more than that that hits America, Babylon the Great, man. It's going to be 2 million, uh, two, Salakia, 200 million warheads, man. So that 5,500 is nothing. You know, it pales in comparison to what, to all the, the, the total number of warheads that's going to hit America, Babylon the Great, causing that lake of fire, man. Let's go there, um... What is Reve Revelation 9? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse, where is it? I'll start at I'll start at 13. You see the subheading of the sixth trumpet army from the east. Revelation 9 and 13. And the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the Most High, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in, uh, river, in the great river Euphrates. So the angels that's holding back the destruction are going to be loose. All right, the missile's going to be shot off, man. All right. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month. And a year to slay the, for to slay the third part of men. Yeah, the Edomites. He saw Edom, the so-called white men. That's that, that's the third part of men. All right, and this the point. Revelation nine and sixteen, and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. All right, so two hundred thousand thousand is two hundred uh, million. So it's going to be two hundred million warheads. It's not going to be two hundred million missiles, all right, because you're going to have you have numerous warheads. In the missiles, all right. So it's going to be two hundred million warheads, and that army of the of horsemen is is talking about uh, this is uh John the Revelator talking about the missiles. He described it as uh as an army of horsemen. This is not a regular army of men, all right. This is an army of missiles. You can read about uh that in Joel the second chapter, man. All right, that's the same army, man. That's that's talked about in Joel the second Joel the second chapter. All right, so it's going to be 200 million warheads that hit, hits America, Babylon the Great, man, causing, causing that complete destruction. That's why it's going to go down in one, in one hour, man. You know, so the Lord is getting this thing lined up, man. Nuclear war is, is coming. Um, Where did I want to go next? Let's go to Isaiah 13. You know, the Lord is lining this thing up, man, for World War Three. All right, Armageddon. Isaiah 13. And. Yeah, I started at four. Isaiah 13 and four. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, host, mustered the host of the battle. And the Lord of hosts, meaning what? The Lord of armies. That's one of the most highest titles. All right. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Yeah, those thermonuclear missiles, those ICBM missiles. That's the weapons of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh's indignation, man, those missiles. All right. Uh, we, uh, read, uh, we read it well. The Lord has opened his armory, man. All right. You know, and that day is coming, man. Yeah, I'm just looking at some of these scriptures. I got some of these in my last lesson, you know, Isaiah 13, you know, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51. All right, so, but the point being that, hey, man, nuclear war is coming, man. And you're not, as you saw in the clips, you're not going to have long, man. Hey, 20 minutes. If you're not of the elect of the nation of Israel, you, 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 you're a missile fool, man. 
Where the hell are you going to go in 20 minutes? That's why the scripture said the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, man. You know, by the time America announces that uh, missiles have been shot off all right, from Russia, it's going to be too late, man. You ain't going to have nowhere to go in 20 minutes, man. You know, so this thing is coming, man. Let's go to, um, let's go to, uh, Jeremiah 50. You know, these, my, Jeremiah 50 and 51, my favorite two chapters concerning, uh, you know, America, you know, the, the missiles being shot on America, man. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 50. Verse 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. Yep, America. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord, Yah Bashim Shah. So not just Russia. Russia is going to head up the charge, you know, but a lot of these... uh. These nations are going to shoot missiles on America, including some of America's allies, man. You know, the missiles about to be shot off. That time is drawing nigh, man. You know, so it's coming, man. Those war horns are blowing, man. You know, that trumpet of war is sounding, Jeremiah 15 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Yeah, nuclear war, man. Nuclear war. You know, I'm going to jump down to verse 24. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord, Yahabashim Awashah. Yeah, in this place, America, Babylon the Great, is completely against Yahabashim Awashah. It's completely against the scriptures, man. That's why they're going to ban the Bible. All right? So America is going to be taken, man, by thermonuclear destruction. All right, because of its pride against Yah Bashim Al and what they've done to the children of Israel over here in this land, man. All right, but that time is drawing now, man. That's why the scriptures say, "Seek the Lord while he may be found," man. You know, the, you got these nations uh parading their nukes around, man. All right, so 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 those uh. Nuclear missiles are coming and they're not going to miss, man. You know, America ain't going to be able to pick them off. The Lord's spirit is going to be in them, man. So all of them going to hit their targets, man. Isn't it going to be nowhere to go but up for the elect of the nation of Israel, man? You know, this, this third war is coming quickly. All right, see, we just waiting on the chip, man. All right. So the Lord is definitely uh, turning... Russia back and putting hooks in their jaws, man. You know, Russia getting sick of America's uh, shit, man. You know, America's pride as hell. You know, they basically what they're saying is, is uh, Putin, well, he, he's been making these idle threats, just trying to scare us and bully, bully America and, and the West. No, but hey, hey, hey Russia going to shoot them missiles off, man, along with many other nations. Like I said, including some of America's allies, man. You know? They think Putin just crying wolf, so to speak, man. They think he bluffing. But the missiles are coming, man. All right, that's why we tell you uh, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent, man. America's destruction is not at hand. You know, the missiles about to uh, pelt this uh, place, man. Like the brother Amon Abad say, man, America is getting ready to glow in the dark. You know, the, door, the, the Lord wrapping this thing up, man. All right, so I just want to do uh, this this brief, brief update, man. You know, the missile's going to be shot off, man. You know, that army enforcement that uh, John the Revelator talked about is coming, man. Those 200 million warheads, man. You know? America, uh, and like, uh, you know, America going to get, they going to shoot off uh, nukes too, man. You know? Nukes are going to fly across the earth, man. That's why the scriptures say the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. All right, so nukes going to be shot off, man, from the ends of the earth. All right, but uh, America is going to be is gonna be completely destroyed, man. 
along with the land of Israel. All right. So, so this third woe is coming, man. You know, these missiles are about to be shot off. Uh, they ain't, these missiles ain't just uh, being paraded around for nothing. The Lord going to uh, put them to use, man. All right. And that's the day of the Lord, man. That thermonuclear destruction. And Yahweh shining angels are going to put the icing on the cake, shooting them lasers from the so-called UFOs, the chariots. All right. So it's coming, man. A hey, repent. Nukes about to fly, man. So I just wanted to do this quick uh, update. I pray that this was edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And our truth is sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the whole Flalek. The House of David starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. A Bible ball, Shalom.